What? The castle's flying! How rude! Spectre invites us to his castle and then ditches us! Hey everyone, Unalink here and welcome back to Ape Escape, where last time we checked out the amusement park, saved the professor, Natalie, and Jake! Jake is finally back on our side, so that's wonderful! And today it's time to go corner and capture Spectre. Before we head down deep into the crater left behind by the castle, Let's go ahead and circle around over here because we've got a monkey, Shafet, a tired soldier who can be pretty dangerous if you're not careful. Catch him quickly. Honestly, that's true for basically all the monkeys in this part of the game. They're all dangerous. Above this thing, we have a Spectre coin and a button. All right, we have... A teleporter of some kind. Let's see where it leads. Alright, we've made it up. We've got a monkey lamp, two monkeys to catch. And I don't really see anything around here. We got a spectre coin over here. There's a UFO launch pad here, but no monkeys around to run it. Alright, well, there seems to be something off to this side, so let's check this out first. The lack of music is honestly very eerie. Well, now that's just rude! You didn't have to set off the alarm! And the music kicks in. I gotta say, the music for Spectre's Flying Castle is my favorite song in the game. It is so fun. Alright, coming up here, we can find a switch that we can press. Which opens up access to that little security room where the monkey's hiding out at. Grab ourselves a Spectre coin. That is number seven for this level. And down here we have BG, who senses danger. Indeed, that's why your job is to run the alarm. All right, well, now that the alarm's running, I imagine there's going to be actual security forces everywhere. All right, let's go see what's happening. Okay, heading out here. The UFOs have activated. Let's do this. We've got two. This first UFO is pilot, uh, piloted by Laura. Let me hit you, please, here. You know what? Homing missiles are far better for UFOs. Where the hell did you... All right, you know what? A little trick. High distance means lower angle needed in order to target something. Of course, it also means you need to be more precise, but that's why we have homing bullets. All right. Laura was expecting a vacation. No vacation for you. You're going back to the amusement park. Okay, next up we have another monkey over here. 
You may notice that despite catching BG inside the security room, only one light has lit up on the lamp. The monkeys we need to catch are specifically the ones in UFOs. Really? That miss? Alright, this one is Donovan. Never flown in a UFO before. Honestly, couldn't tell. Alright, well, there's a cookie jar over there, so let's go grab that before he shoots us. Oh god! <laughs> that would have been fantastic timing. Holy crap. Please don't shoot me. Actually, don't shoot me. Alright, where'd he go? Get back here, Donovan! Ah! You jerk! Okay, now we can actually head in to the castle. Alright, what do we got in here? First off, monkey box. As with the other boss stages, there is a monkey box that we cannot access right now. Unfortunate. Hopefully we'll be able to access those fairly soon. But that does mean there is one monkey we won't be able to catch on this trip. Alright, so, Spectre's Castle. Big, expansive, just massive. It's a massive level. We're gonna have to spend quite a bit of time exploring this place. First off, heading into the West Wing. We could proceed from here, but no, camera, what are you doing? We're actually gonna head around this way and hit this switch. This switch opens up uh, a door, uh, which we we could have gone down the path to check out that area earlier, but we'd run into a door, and you know that wouldn't be good. Okay, set out our RC car, get it on the god damn it, get it on the bridge, please get back here. And yeah, we could have come down here earlier and got at least a few monkeys? What are you doing? It was just peeking around the corner at me. I love that, that's amazing. What a great little attention to detail. But yeah, we could have come over here earlier and at least gotten these two monkeys that we've seen, but then we would run into the door and that would be no bueno. All right, first off we have Gordo, a real pool shark. Too bad pool doesn't protect you from a net. All right, next up, coming over here to find the monkey that was peeking around the corner at us. I honestly thought it would stop before then. It just kind of wandered off over there. All right, monkey, get back here. Over here, we have Rayski, Mix Master Ray. Please stop running. Okay, fine, we'll deal with the tops first. There we go, got Rayski. And this is where the door that we opened is at. Head in here, hop on this elevator thing, and we've got Poopy. Too young for this. Well, let's get you back somewhere safe. Got ourselves a Spectre coin. And you may notice that this level is already just absolutely swarming us with lives. Uh, this level is easily the most difficult in the game. So naturally, they're going to flood you with lives to make sure you can get through safely. This also means that we're going to have way more lives than we need. We could head up the stairs, but there's an electric force field up there, so instead, let's head into the monkey's mouth. Alright, what do we got in here? Oh god, more tops. Okay. Thankfully, they are, e they are easy to deal with, it's just you don't always know when they're going to stop, so you might stop prematurely. Okay, if we come over here... This cogwheel will extend the monkey's eyeballs, basically making it a convenient way... 
to cross over the gap up here, go fast. Uh, you could try the super hoop, but the wind up time's a little long. But yeah, we're gonna need to use those eyeballs to get across this. Right here we have Bungie, who can flip like a gymnast. And over here we have the most annoying monkey to ever live in a cage. This is Karo, a total pyromaniac. That's probably why they keep him locked up. Okay. He actually was very, very kind this time, but usually he'll just run around, and when he goes next to one of these openings where he can come out of the cage, he'll just turn and go somewhere else inside the cage. I'm very glad he was being so kind today, because that can take minutes. Many of them. Many, many of those minutes in order to catch him. All right, that switch opens up the electrical force field, allowing us to head forward. But before we do that, there is some stuff we need to take care of in here still. Let's pull out our explosive bullets. Um, okay. Interesting. Explosives didn't work, but regular rocks did. Anyways, heading into this light, we can find Carlito, who, well, don't mess with him because he will not give a shit. I don't know why he doesn't react. I, I don't understand it. Over here we have Spectre Coin number nine. Just one left. Those Spectre Coins are coming fast. Okay. Finished with the in uh, interior of the monkey's mouth. Let's climb up these stairs and head through the now open doorway. Over here we have a respawning life. If you die, this will reappear and give you another life. Every time you die in this room, grab that life. You cannot get a game over as long as you grab it. And welcome to the ascent. We are climbing all the way up the tower, the I believe western tower of the castle. And this room can be quite dangerous with the giant robot flying around being a menace. You can attack the robot and destroy it, but it will just respawn shortly after, so it's not that worth it to destroy it, honestly. Just keep moving. All right, we got more of these jerks. Okay, give me those explosive bullets, and I hear a monkey. All right, the monkey is above us. We'll have to grab it in a little bit once we get up there. Okay, we've got an extra life on this narrow beam. So let's very carefully cross it. They're being so generous with the lives. We're up to 21. And here comes the machine. The mech is back for revenge. Thankfully, it only seems to stick to certain parts of the level. I would like it to stay down there. All right, there's that monkey that attacked us. This is Teacup, very tidy and retentive. Okay, made it to an elevator. And we have to be getting near the top by now. This building is so tall. All right, for the last electrical field, we went under it. This time you have to go over it because it reaches all the way down to the bottom. Don't let the life tempt you, it's not worth it. I know there's an extra life down there. All right, over here we have Shine. Can hit a moving target. Honestly impressive. Too bad you didn't see me coming. Can't hit what you can't see. 
Okay. And we have arrived at the top. And now we are outside the castle, because that's safe. Before we proceed too far, I do want to... Can I get up to that monkey? Okay, it looks like that... We cannot stand on that fence. We're gonna have to find a way down to the monkey from above. Oh, they're really... Ramping up those platforming challenges for this last section, aren't they? Aren't, aren't they? But yes, this is indeed the last section of this level. This is the last gauntlet before we can finally reach Spectre. Before we head up any further... Dang! What a great view of the Earth. I love that. I wonder if... You could estimate how high up we are from the size of the planet here. We, you probably could. I just don't recall the exact math. I could probably do that for fun and mark it down in notes, but... Over here we have Wrench, who likes ketchup on eggs. You know, I've heard people like that, but I've never tried it myself. Maybe I should try that someday. Uh, actually, you know what? The uh, This Earth is so big. I don't think I could get an accurate measurement of its size. I would also need an in-game reference for like, I don't know, how tall Spike is or something. That could be fun math to try. But I don't think I could pull it off. All right, here we have a three switch elevator. The right switch will extend a path to the right. Left switch will extend a path to the left. And the middle switch will raise the elevator. I don't use the side switches. They can be handy, but you have to move the RC car over to them. And well, in that time you're losing altitude and it's just easier to use the sky flyer. Over here we have the last monkey of uh, Spectre's castle. We have Bronson, who sees the end of the world. And right here we have the last Spectre coin of Spectre's castle. We are coming up on the end. Spectre, you have nowhere to run. All right, let me on that, please. Well, that was rude. Okay, we're a little bit too far to the left. It is very particular where you have to be jumping from in order to grab onto things like that. Okay, what do we got here? Slingback shooter. Hit that switch and let us climb up. Go fast because these retract. Oh god, I'm probably screwed. Yep! Saved it! Oh, yes, I saved it. Okay, uh, can I? I cannot. Okay, I will meet you back up there then. All right, made it back up to here. I, it, I mean, we weren't that far back, but still. And yeah, just go fast because they do retract and the third one retracts far quicker than the first one. So if you're not there when it's extended, you're not going to make it. All right, very slowly and carefully make our way across. And we've got bounce pads that are moving sideways. I gotta say, I don't like this. Okay, not too bad if you time it well. Rude! Hey, give me some cookies as an apology. Thank you! That was very polite. Can you give me some- Yes! Very polite machines. And over here, what do you say to us playing a game of Pong? Use the wheels to move that bar left and right to try and catch one of these discs. And let us cross over to the other side. I can't believe I got that so quickly. <laughs> that was actually... I'm impressed with myself. Alright, we have made it to the top. The very, very top. 
And of course we have a mech to finish this off. Alright, I think you actually don't have to worry with this guy. He kind of blows his initial fire burst over you. So if you stand right here, if you just stand here and keep hitting him, it should be trivial, honestly. I just kind of overcomplicated it. Uh, before we hit that switch, I do want to grab those two extra cookies. Alright, we are fully healed. Let's hit the switch and see where it leads. All right, it looks like Spectre was hiding behind the portrait of himself the whole time. Back in the East Wing, let's go ahead and get back to that main room. And let's go confront him now that the door is open. Next time on Ape Escape, we head through the painting and track down Spectre at last. Let's finally catch that monkey and put an end to this. I will see everyone next time.